you, Mr. Speaker. My question today is for the Attorney General. Speaker, our government knows that our law enforcement professionals right across Ontario are hardworking women and men who put their safety at risk every day they go out on the job. These women and men are everyday heroes who work tirelessly to keep us safe in Hamilton, my community, in Kenora, and right across Ontario. We've heard time and again that the current Special Investigations Unit process wastes time, energy, and precious resources investigating the wrong things. Under the current system, an officer who provided CPR could face a nearly year-long investigation if the injured person did not survive their injuries. They deserve better. Speaker, could the minister tell us about how this new legislation proposes to fix this problem? The Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for Fl from Flanbrook for her question. Our legislation will, if passed, provide transparency and clarity to police officers, police chiefs, and to the people of Ontario. Under the proposed changes, the SIU would be required to conclude an investigation in 120 days or provide an explanation of why that benchmark cannot be met. Notification would continue to be required, Mr. Speaker, in set circumstances we would all reasonably expect, such as when use of force, custody or detention, and motor vehicle pursuits result in serious injury or death, as well as in reported cases of sexual assault and when there is discharge of a firearm at a person. However, for example, in the CPR case the member outlined, or when an officer is unsuccessful in stopping a suicide attempt, those officers do not deserve to be subjected to months-long criminal investigations. Response. If passed, this legislation would clarify the mandate of the SIU and focus its resources where they should be, on possible criminal activity. Supplementary. Thank you, Minister. And Mr. Speaker, this is evidence that our government for the people listens to the concerns of frontline officers. This new legislation is balanced, it's respectful, it is fair. Mr. Speaker, I know that frontline officers in my community and right across Ontario will be happy with these changes to SIU investigations if it is passed. I think we can all agree that whether an officer is unsuccessful at saving a victim's life through CPR or at stopping a suicide attempt, that officer should be recognized for his or her efforts and not treated like a suspect in a criminal investigation. Can the minister tell this House more about these proposed changes? The Attorney General. Thank you. And I, I would like to be clear. Our government knows that the women and men in uniform are everyday heroes. And I would like to take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to highlight one such hero in our midst who sits in our caucus, the member for Hastings, Lennox, and Addington. Mr. Speaker, he was a proud member of the OPP before continuing to serve our community in the House. Sadly, when the previous Liberal government looked at police officers, all they saw were potential offenders. Their policing legislation, Bill 175, was plain and simple anti-police. Bill 175 made Ontario less safe by weakening the trust between the public and the police and by ignoring the everyday reality of the jobs that the police do to keep us safe. My ministry and our government know that effective police oversight and respect for police go hand in hand and that police officers are the hardworking men and women who deserve Response. our respect and support. We listen to the concerns of our frontline officers and that's why we're proposing to restore transparency and fairness to a system that had previously left the police and the people in the dark. Thank you.